Hello friends, in this video we make tin for iodide by directly combining tin metal with iodine. Tin for iodide also called stannic iodide is a covalent compound which crystallizes as tetrahedral molecule. It is insoluble in water but readily soluble in non-polar solvents like benzene, carbon disulfide and dichloromethane. Materials required for this preparation includes 3.3 grams of tin metal, 10 grams of iodine and 100 milliliter of dichloromethane. Start by fixing a small 100 ml round bottom flask on a stand and then transfer the already pre-weighed 3.3 grams of tin metal powder into it. You can also use metallic granules of tin but since the surface area is low it would take more time for it to react with iodine. Next we add 10 grams of iodine crystals into the flask. Now add 100 ml of dichloromethane. Dichloromethane will act as the solvent for iodine and also for the tin for iodide formed. Other non-polar solvents like carbon disulfide and carbon tetrachloride are much more efficient in dissolving them. And we only need a very less volume of these compounds as solvent. But since these compounds are not readily available for use, I am using the commonly available dichloromethane. Attach a reflex condenser on top of the flask and start reflexing the mixture. A gentle heating is best for this reaction. What is happening here is a direct combination of tin metal with iodine crystals. The reaction is said to be complete when no more of the iodine color is seen. The heating is adjusted so that the drip rate of the reflex is constant. The solution finally acquires a yellow-orange color indicating the end of the reaction. The solution has to be quickly filtered now through a glass funnel with a cotton plug inserted to it. There is a high chance that crystals will be formed inside the funnel and also in the flask before it is getting transferred into the beaker. Those crystals can be forced into the filtrate by washing the funnel and the flask with some warm dichloromethane and then pouring it back into the funnel. Once everything is in the beaker, we need the maximum crystals, so we concentrate the solution by distilling away some of the solvent. Ideally a proper distillation has to be carried out with a condenser, but since I am lazy I am doing a simple short path distillation here, which will also work. Then we pour the contents into a beaker and let it come to room temperature and then it is placed in a refrigerator overnight so that maximum crystals will be formed. The compound was then filtered and dried. The final yield was 12.2 grams which represents a 77.9% yield. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved the contents of this video, do hit the subscribe button and the bell button for notifications. You can also join my discord server. I will put a link to that in the description.